And today's Two Minutes of Science is all about magnetic levitation. This is one of those parlor tricks they do for fancy desktop displays. In this case, it's a globe in a big magnetic sea. The whole display piece is not magnetic, but you can see just from the way the globe behaves that it has a strong magnet at the top. Using these iron filings in a little glass bottle, this is my magnetic detector. And you can see the field lines in the iron filings to confirm that there's a magnet in the top of the globe. In the base or the holder for the globe, you can see that when it's on, there's a magnetic field associated with it. But when it's turned off and the globe falls apart, there's no magnetic lines. So there's some kind of electromagnet to help hold it in place. When you move it and put it in place, it stays pretty good. But there's only a very narrow range where it will actually work right. Meaning that there's a balance of the magnetic attraction from the globe with a permanent magnet and the electromagnet in the base itself. Just to confirm that there's no spoofing going on here, I can run a tissue through the top and the bottom. There's no wires or anything else that's attaching this. It's all due to a balance of the magnetic field force. And it's fairly focused, so even with my iron filing magnetic detector, you can't see much change outside of the range of the holder itself. The associated night light with the globe is just an added touch. You can see the globe is still turning even after I started it some time ago. It's just inertia which will keep it turning. It also means that there's not much uh, friction of associated with the magnetic force lines. So this is kind of cool. I thought it was neat for the price.